Okay, so in this video, we are going to look at algebraic division. Okay, so this is dividing uh, algebraic terms. So we'll take the example x plus 3, and we're going to divide it into x squared plus 5x plus 6. Okay. So there's a couple of steps to this. And your first step is to look at just these first two terms, the first term of the divisor and the first term of what you're dividing into. And you're going to just divide in x into x squared. Or an easier way to think about that is ask yourself, what is being multiplied to x? Or what needs to be multiplied to x to get x squared? And the answer, of course, is x. So we put x up on top. So step one is to just look at the first two terms and divide in just those first two terms. X into X squared goes X times. Or in other words, what X multiplied by X is what gives you X squared. OK, so step two then is to take this term and multiply it by the full divisor. OK, so we're going to do X times X to give you X squared. And you know you're on the right track when these match up. And then X times three is 3x. So that's step two. You write your answer on top and take that then and multiply it by the full divisor. OK, so step three then, what you're going to do now is you're going to uh, subtract and get the remainder. OK, so I'm just going to put this in in a different colour. OK, uh, this one is straightforward enough because Obviously, we're just going to subtract these two terms. But if you had originally got a negative here, then that would actually change the sign because you'd end up with minus a minus. So it would be like adding. OK, and that's what I'd end up putting in that bracket. OK, so there's two ways you can think about it. You're subtracting. Or change the signs. OK, this one is is easy to think of as subtracting because we don't have to worry about changing signs because they're all positive anyway. So when we come to subtract them, they change to minus. I'll talk about that again now in another example. OK, so we're going to subtract and get the remainder. So X squared take away X squared is obviously nothing. So they cancel, which is what you want to have happen if you're on the right track. And now the remainder here is 5X take away 3X, which is 2X. And then you're going to bring this term down. And you're going to repeat your steps. So your third step is to subtract the terms and then bring down the next term. OK, so as I said, then we are going to repeat. This process, so now we're going to look at these two first terms, the first term of the divisor and now the first term of here, what's left. So x divided into 2x, or an easier way to think about it, what would you multiply to x to get 2x? And the answer is 2. So put your answer on top. Now multiply this by the full divisor. So take the 2 and multiply it by the full divisor. So 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 3 is 6. And now, step 3, subtract the terms. In other words, change the signs. And with 2x take away 2x cancels. 6 take away 6 is nothing. There's no next term, so I'm done. So x plus 3 divides into x squared plus 5x plus 6, x plus 2 times with no remainder. In other words, x plus 3 times x plus 2 uh, is equal to x squared plus 5x plus 6. All right, so that's just another way to think about it. So depending on what way the question is asked, uh, sometimes they might ask you to write out like this. Sometimes they just want the divides like this. But there uh, are just two ways to think about that algebraic division. Right, let's try another one. OK, so let's try this question. So following the steps, we're looking at the first two terms. So this term X and this term 3X squared. So X into 3X squared. Or in other words, what would you do to X? What would you multiply to X to get 3X squared? And the answer is 3X. Now, by all means, pause the video and you should try this yourself first. See how far you get. And then you can watch my full solution to see if you're right. So 3X is what we're getting here. When you have that on top, step two, now multiply this by the full divisor. So 3X times X is 3X squared. 
3x times minus 6 is uh, minus 18x. 3x times minus 6 is minus 18x. Now, now we're going to subtract. So we're going to take that away. Now, here's what I was talking about earlier. When I go to subtract a negative 18x, minus minus 18x is the same as adding 18x. When you subtract a negative, it's like adding. So sometimes the easiest thing to do is just change the signs when you get to this part. Change the sign, change the sign. So that positive 3x squared changes to negative 3x squared, and that negative 18x will change to plus because that um, operation of subtracting will make that a plus 18x. So now, 3x squared take away 3x squared cancels. That's what you know when you're on the right track when that happens, remember? And then minus 16x plus 18x is a positive 2x. And now bring down the next term. Okay, so now let's have a look at these two terms, the x and the 2x. And x divided into 2x, or in other words, what would I multiply to x to get 2x? The answer is 2. So then when you have your answer on top, multiply it by the full divisor. 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times minus 6 is minus 12. And let's change the signs. Because when you subtract a negative 12, it's like adding. That cancels, and that is 0. So x minus 6 divides into 3x squared minus 16x minus 12, 3x plus 2 times. Okay, let's try this harder one. Now, don't worry about this question. You're just going to repeat your steps an extra time. That's all there is to it, okay? So it's the same procedure, the same method. It's just going to be a little bit longer. You're going to do another set of steps. That's all there is to it. So let's uh, go through it bit by bit. Now, pause the video if you feel confident and see how you get on yourself first. So look at the first two terms, the x and the 2x cubed. We're going to divide in x into 2x cubed. In other words, what would you multiply to x to get 2x cubed? Uh, and the answer is 2x squared you'd need. 2x squared times x is what will give you 2x cubed. So now we've got our answer. Let's multiply it by the full divisor. So as I said, 2x squared times x is 2x cubed. And 2x squared times 3 is a 6x squared. And now we're going to subtract. So change those signs. 2x cubed take away 2x cubed cancels. Zero, in other words. That's what we want. We know we're on the right track now. And 1x squared take away 6x squared is a minus 5x squared. Bring down the next term. OK, now that's our step three. And we go to repeat. So again, look at your first two terms, the x and the minus 5x squared. So x divided into minus 5x squared, or an easier way to think about it, what do you multiply to x to get minus 5x squared? And the answer is minus 5x. Minus 5x times x is minus 5x squared. And minus 5x times a positive 3 is minus 15x. Now we're going to subtract. So the minus minus 5x squared is like adding 5x squared. When you subtract the negative 15x, it's going to be like adding 15x. So change those signs. And of course, minus 5x squared plus 5x squared cancels. And then I'm left with minus 13x, add 15x which is a positive 2x, and bring down the next term. OK, so we're going to repeat again. Look at the first two terms, the x and the 2x. What would you multiply to x to get 2x? And the answer is 2. So 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 3 is 6. And now let's change the signs or subtract. 2x take away 2x is nothing. 6 take away 6 is 0. So x plus 3 divides into 2x cubed plus x squared minus 13x plus 6. 2x squared minus 5x plus 2 times. In other words, x plus 3 times 2x squared minus 5x plus 2 gives you this answer. <laughs> 